Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden features of your iPhone that you can actually enable using some hidden settings that are somewhere buried there on the settings app. Now, of course, iPhones have a ton of new features, a ton of hidden features, and a lot of them actually can be enabled by using settings that a lot of people don't even know about. Now, the first one will be right here under the seller settings. So head on to your settings, go under settings and what you can do here is choose how your 5g actually will perform so you go to data mode and you will have three different modes right here now you can choose how much data you want your seller to actually use so if you have an unlimited plan of data of course you can allow more data on 5g meaning that it will actually use 5g for software updates automatic icloud backups and higher quality media of course video and music streaming now if you want you can just go with the standard which will basically let all the like software updates and those happen over wi-fi but it will also limit the quality of video and FaceTime quality on calling. But if you don't have like a lot of data or you have a very limited plan, then you can go to the low data mode right here, which will reduce the data usage by seller, of course, pushing all the automatic updates and background tasks for Wi-Fi connectivity. Moving on into the apps section, so go to apps and search for phone right here. Now here's something really cool you can do when you go to phone here, you can actually enable live voicemail. Now live voicemail, what it will do is that if you have it enabled, once you get a voicemail in the real time, it will actually show you a transcription of that voicemail. So if you're just seeing it and you're seeing the transcription, based on that, you can maybe decide where you will, whether you just want to pick up the call right there or maybe just let everything go to the voicemail. But live in real time, you will see a real time transcription of the voicemail that you're getting. Now, another thing you will be able to do here in the phone settings is bring back the old school calling screen. So you have to go here to incoming calls and you will have banner, which is the different mode that has been enabled with iOS 16, I believe, but you can go to the full screen mode if you want to. And I, I know a lot of people prefer this. If you didn't know this, you can actually switch back to the old calling screen by simply choosing full screen. Now we're staying here on the app settings. Just go ahead and search for mail here and go to the default iOS mail app. And what you can do here, if you have like a couple of different accounts or maybe even more, you can just go ahead and set the signature for your accounts from here. So go to signature and what you will have here is the names of your accounts. And you can see here you have the signature for each of the account. Now what you can do is go to all accounts and you can just go ahead and set a signature which will be applied to all the accounts that you have on the mail app. But if you want, don't want that to happen, you can just go to per account and this will let you set individually like right here the signature for any of your accounts. Of course, if you have different accounts that you use for different purposes, you can just go ahead and choose what signature you want to have in which account. Now, one of the features that I really like on iOS is the app library. Now, the app library allows to have all of your apps there. So you don't have to have a ton of like apps on the home screen or have like a ton of pages with different apps. And it's that way, way easier to find the apps that you want. You will have all the categories there and everything you need to just simply find the app that you need. But when installing an app, you don't want it to show on the home screen of your device. If you don't want that to happen, so you want the apps to go straight to the app library, you can just go to settings, go to home screen and app library. And right here, you will have the ability to show the downloaded, the newly downloaded apps only on the app library. Meaning that once the app is downloaded, it won't show on the home screen at all. It will straight go to the app library. And of course, later on, if you just want to place that app on the home screen, you can just go ahead and drag it from the app library. Moving back here into the app section. So go here and search for notes. Now with notes on iOS, you will have, of course, your accounts for notes. You will have your notes on your iCloud 
which means that you will of course have all of them on all of your devices which is really awesome but what you can also do here and this is on per like device basis you can enable on my phone account by enabling this you will basically have notes that you just store locally so when you create that note in that account like simply by enabling it right here that means that those notes will only stay on that device and won't upload to iCloud which means that you can see all of them on all of the devices you enable on my iPhone on my iPhone account and those will stay local on your device now we are moving here to the FaceTime settings so search for FaceTime right here and FaceTime is also really awesome on iOS it's a great app of course with the video calls and all that and all the cool new features that Apple has added. So when you go here, scroll down and you will have something here called the FaceTime live photos. This will allow you to capture live photos during the FaceTime call. So let's say you're on a phone call with your loved ones. You can just go ahead and there take pictures which are actually live photos that will be saved to your app library basically just think of it just like a live screenshot so you will have basically a photo out of your facetime call but that will also be a live photo which as you know you can adjust of course maybe the angles of the photo or just use it as that on your photos library now here's something really cool on the app section on your settings app go ahead and search for messages and once you go there you will have this really cool new feature so you go to manage apps right here and right here you will see all the apps that you have installed on your device that do support iMessage and you can enable them from here so I can go ahead and enable or disable any of the apps I want and from here you can also delete the iMessage apps that you have but here's something really cool if I enable let's say YouTube here or maybe TikTok here's what I can do when I go to the iMessage app I can go here and while I'm on iMessage app if I just want to send someone a TikTok video in this case I don't want to have to go to the TikTok and find that video and share it I can just go ahead and tap the plus button here I can find the TikTok app of course if I want to use it more frequently I can just place it somewhere right there at the top but if I tap right here you can see what happens now it will actually show me all the liked videos that I have on TikTok it, once it shows these I can just go ahead and select any of them I want from here I can just go ahead and select them like that and just tap that button what that will do is that it will be able to send that video directly from the keyboard of your iMessage to that contact now here's another really useful feature on face ID and passcode head on here and you will find something called setup alternative appearance like if you have let's say different appearance maybe sometimes you're shaved sometimes you're not you're using glasses or just for any reason like that you can go ahead and set up an alternate appearance which actually will allow you to faster unlock your iPhone with Face ID if you sometimes look a bit different or you have a different hairstyle you can just go ahead and set up your alternate appearance and that will also make the Face ID work much much faster and last but not least we're going again into the apps here and let's just find contacts here so with contacts on iOS what you will be able to do if you go to your contacts account you can just go ahead and add an account from here so all of the contacts that you have on that account will be added to your iPhone that's a really really easy way to add like a bunch of contacts at once to your device you tap on add account and you can choose any of the accounts that you have right here of course from Google maybe iCloud Microsoft or you can just go to other right there if you want to manually enter and any like different accounts that you have and then this will import all the contacts that you have saved on that account to your device in just a few simple steps so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and hopefully you learned something new about your device today i hope you guys again enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and of course don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one